Hello and welcome. My name is Rebecca George and I'm here with All Free Sewing to show you a few hand sewing tips. These correspond with my National Sewing Month Mystery Sew Along for fall of 2023, but you'll learn skills that can be used for a variety of projects. Hand sewing is so important to know in practice and is as valuable as using a machine in many instances. I won't reveal the final project in this video so it still remains a mystery, but I'll say it is a home decor item for autumn. Let's begin with instances when you might want to sew by hand. Here, it's to create art with a rustic look. Additionally, sometimes the machine is not available or you might want to make a fast repair or just hold fabrics together temporarily. It's also helpful for when working with delicate fabrics and attaching adornments like sequins. Now let's review some basic supplies used for hand sewing. For this project, I'm using three different wool blend fabrics that are in houndstooth and plaid patterns. They are all light to medium weight. You'll also need a standard hand sewing needle and polyester all-purpose thread in a corresponding color. For demonstration purposes today, I'll be using a lighter color so it's easier to see. You can use most sizes of needle for this project, although one that is medium sized works best. They often come in variety packs, so you'll have a lot of choices. But most importantly, you want to make sure that the needle you're using is not damaged or bent. If it is, replace it before hand sewing. I also have a pair of fabric scissors and a pair of smaller scissors to use for clipping threads and fabric. A thimble can also help protect your finger when you are hand sewing. And lastly, a seam ripper can also come in handy for this type of project, just in case you need to remove any stitches, but it is optional. Now for the sewing. These tips are for the sew along part two. Prepare a needle with a doubled over thread and knot it at the end. I like to make my threads long enough that I don't have to constantly re-thread the needle, but not too long that it gets tangled up. Anything more than about an arm's length is too long for me, but everybody is different. If you have a problem getting the thread through the needle, sometimes it gets frayed, so cut it and make a new point at an angle and it should go through much more easily. For this step of the sew along, we'll be connecting three long pieces of fabric together at one end. You wanna keep the stitches about three eighths to a half an inch or so down from the top edge in case of any fraying. Begin by layering all three fabrics together, one on top of each other. And if your material is slippery, you can place a pin to hold them together. This fabric is pretty easy to sew through and doesn't have much resistance. So I can just hold it with my hands. And this step is mainly to attach the fabrics together, so a simple straight stitch across is fine. And you can begin on the, the top or the bottom of the fabric, it doesn't matter. So just go across in a line it does not have to be perfect. You want to check to make sure the layers are all securely attached. Then knot and clip off any excess thread on the back. Next, 
let's discuss some tips for the sew along part four. Spoil alert. If you haven't gotten through part three yet and want to keep the project a surprise, pause this video and then resume when you've gotten to that point. Great. So you now know that we will be braiding these three strips together and then attaching these braids with hand sewing. So I have my braids made. And I want to begin by placing two of them parallel to each other on my work surface. I'm again using a doubled over thread, which is knotted at one end. and clip off any excess. Start at the end of the braids and anchor your thread. You want to very gently sew back and forth through each of the braids, enough that they're attached and held together and there are no holes in between them, but not enough tension that you'll be able to see the threads from the front. So this is too loose. You wanna go back And attach them. You don't want to see the sewing thread from the front. Even though this is a rustic project, you don't want to see the threads, just more of the fabric fraying. So as you can see here, there's no gaps in between and you cannot see the thread from the front layer. Think of this as making an exaggerated slip stitch like you would do when making a hem. And you want to keep the thread tension even throughout and make sure the fabric does not twist up. In general, when hand sewing, taking your time will always pay off with less frustration. To attach the third layer, place the third braid next to these first two that are attached and connect it from the back in the same exact way using the hand sewing. When you've reached the end of the braids, make sure to tie off the thread and knot it. Make sure to periodically flip it over to check your work and make sure you can't see the threads from the outside. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope these tips will help you not only complete the mystery sew along, but also assist with other sewing and craft projects that you work on. Happy sewing!